Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a what's in my bag video. So when someone said to me, why don't you do a what's in your bag video? I was sort of thinking, does anyone care what's in my actual handbag? Apparently people do. Apparently this is something people want to watch. Just wanted to, I'm going to show off my all night long Lionel t-shirt. If you don't know, I'm a huge Lionel Richie fan. This year, and when after I see him, it'll be my eighth time seeing him. And also this leather jacket, which is lush, that I bought from All Saints, which is ridiculously expensive. So I thought, let's show it off. Let's show the peeps. So, <laughs> this actually is my bag, which is quite funny. So I used to have like a leather black handbag. And then, um... I went to a car boot sale with my mother and she was giving, selling this and I was like, whoa, hang on, let me do it up. I was like, that's quite cool. And this was last year. I was like, that's cool. Look at this. I absolutely love this. And actually it's really in fashion at the moment, which is even better. Let me go through mine. So here I have a train ticket, which is obviously not in date anymore. I can go in the bin. This is actually quite good because I can bin stuff. Here I have a hotel card from Santa Domingo, which is where me and Vic went. We went to Madrid um, in February and obviously I forgot to give this card back and it's been sitting in my bag ever since. So sorry hotel, okay. Oh, I have some loose change. I have some loose change. Money, 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 money. Then I have, oh I did have some samples in here, they're probably loose in the bottom of my bag. The Book of Mormon tickets from when me and Vic went to London a few weeks ago. We went to watch the Book of Mormon and they are still floating around. I guess, does everyone just do this? They just never empty their bags. My bag is really heavy, all I need is my purse and my car keys. Then I have a, a letter here. So my auntie Sue writes me letters all the time which is super lovely. And I mean, I'd say a letter, it's more like um a little bit, it's like a chapter of War and Peace. But I really, really love her sending them to me and I love reading those. And I think I read that on the train going to London. I have some headphones attached to some sunglasses. These are from Topshop, if I remember correctly. I think this shows off how uneven, like, where my eyebrows are. So I have to wear them a little bit further down. Or I just rather them on my head. But a... Oh, Beyonce Ivy Park launch. Fuel me up. I'm a blogger. Um, so I went to the launch um, in Cardiff and apparently we could have got a free drink. Then I have how to order a prescription because I keep going to the doctors and the woman's like, every time I'm like, hi, can I order it now? And she's like, no, you need to order between 10 and 1 on these days or you can do this or you can do this. And I'm like, oh, okay, can I just order it now while I'm here? And she's like, right. So she's literally like, written down how I do it. What is next? What is next? <laughs> this is funny. This is this came in my letter from my auntie, which is a snag repair needle. If anybody has or had, if you remember when you have little kittens and they love to just claw up all your nice new jeans, um, then you need one of these. So thanks very much again, Sue, for that. A pad, because you always need to carry these in your bag. My actual prescription. <laughs> which I have forgotten about and it is nothing exciting. It's just, I don't know, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> okay, some chewing gums. Important, very important. Some car keys and house keys. Some paracetamol because I've been really ill lately so these have been floating around in my bag. A purse from River Island which is full of crap. I wish it was money. It's full of crap and receipts. Uh, more tablets. This is part of my prescription. This is for cystitis. Any ladies that have that will know the pain. So thank God for these tablets. I mean, I have no idea <coughs> why there is a vest. I have a vest. This is, this is from New Look. This is just a black vest. I honestly have no idea or I don't even know when I would have put that in my... Yes, I do. I travelled to London with this about a month ago and I put all my stuff in here. So obviously this is probably at the bottom. It was black, so I didn't even notice it. A pen from the Royal Horse Guard Hotel, which is the one I stayed in in London, which was lush right by the London Eye. Oh, some gloves. Maybe just one glove. Oh no, there's, there's a set. There's two. They are two gloves. Uh, I bought these in the airport before we went to Madrid and... Probably not even going to get much use out of them now because the weather is changing. Thank you. 
a receipt for coconut water my oh another addiction of mine and then makeup stuff so here is the where was this from this is the Estee Lauder double wear um sample that I have bourgeois bourgeois bonjour healthy mix serum foundation I don't normally carry makeup in my bag normally there's like a load of lipsticks just lying loose on the bottom but apparently I now have a foundation I don't know why that's not supposed to be in there oh my gosh the pre-mark lip velvet lip crayon I love these I'm gonna do a blog post or something or maybe a video about pre-mark lip stuff they it's amazing look at this color it's like a purpley stone blue undertones like it's just this is so so lovely and then I have a little oh pathetic hardly anything left matte lipstick which I'm gonna say is either who or peach blossom because the name has come off the bottom bit of makeup bit of makeup oh I have another one I have a this is from essence it's called number one coral is calling this is if you haven't seen essence they sell it in Wilkinson's um I'll just show you the color on the back of my hand of that one uh, I was obviously feeling quite summery this day whenever I put this one on I really like their number one true nude I mean I'm not sure if I'm much of a fan of that one um one clip for your hair even though I never put clips in my hair and some Queen Bee Vaseline which my friend bought me because I love Beyonce thanks Emily so this is, this was the contents of my bag. I hope that was enjoyable. I suppose I'm quite nosy so I like looking at like what's in people's houses so I probably would like to know what's in people's bags too. If you enjoyed this video and I shall see you next week. Bye bye!